Scorpio, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for June 2018. And since I have been doing horoscopes, Scorpio, I have never had a message come through as clear as these ones came through for you this month. So please, I hope you listen up and I hope I um, convey this really well to you. So we have got a Mars retrograde happening this month and Mars is a co-ruling planet for you. So this will be impactful for you in some way, shape or form. It's happening in the sign of Aquarius, which impacts your fourth house. Straight out the gate, let's understand Mars retrograde. This means we're going to re. Retrograde means to redo. We're going to relook at your strategy, your actions, your beliefs in yourself, right? That self esteem piece, your identity. We're going to relook at your desires around things. So, your sense of movement and energy about who you are and how you're interacting with people is going to get a shift between June 26th and August 27th. This is important because what became abundantly clear to me is that likely somewhere in your fourth house, House where this is falling home family real estate property women in your lives right you have got a little bit of a tyrant somewhere whether it be a neighbor that is going crazy that drippy faucet the house is just falling apart um, something you're feeling insecure about where you're living you're feeling insecure about who you are the first home you will ever have is the one that lives right here right but this could also be that someone in your house or someone who impacts your house is making you crazy, okay? Now, here's the deal. Between June and August, what you're trying to figure out is the one word I've got for you, your re-strategized plan. What are you gonna do to handle this? How are you gonna move through this? And this is the thing, with a Mars retrograde, new solutions present themselves to problems that you've probably been having or challenges you've been encountering for a while. So this time is not for naught. But here's the spiritual question I would ask you around how you're showing up is, how are you showing up? Whatever you're interacting with, whatever the challenge is, whatever the whatever is, what is it trying to teach you and how are you showing up to that lesson, right? But have no doubt that it looks very clear that whatever this tricky problem is to navigate um, throughout this fourth house region, you're going to get resolution. Mars does not BS when he retrogrades. He's gonna give you a new plan of attack going through and definitely on the other side, okay? Now here's what I can tell you. What's not gonna be in your favor with these things is doing some high level, verbal attacks or anything like that that's not in your greatest benefit okay now let's jump in and talk about the rest of the month as well okay right at the beginning of the month on the 13th we've got mercury coming to join venus just for a little bit of time here in the sign of cancer and for you this is in the ninth house so if you've wanted to do um, anything around education scorpio even just investigate right if you've had questions to ask you want to know about a program you want to know about a license you want to know about a certification you want to know about a kind of training maybe you want to teach maybe you are just burnt the heck out at work and you're like oh i don't want to do this maybe you move into being a trainer or a teacher for a while or something like that these energies are great mercury is business savvy he's got the details down communications great venus is here so whatever you're communicating about it's coming out like butter right she's helping that all the way so this is a wonderful energy for you to go explore and the ninth house bigger than any exploration is the exploration of faith right faith has nothing to do scorpio with what you believe it has to do with how your feet are moving what are the actions you're taking because that is where the faith is at on the 13th we've got a new moon happening in Gemini which we know we're gonna do communication and we're gonna do movement here okay and it's happening for you in your eighth house so one thing that comes to my mind is that you've already got a re-strategizing and expanding and very faithful energy for you this month is that maybe something with your finances right if you've got joint finances with someone maybe you live together with someone and you guys have had some financial struggles or you've been wondering what to do with money even if it's not a struggle you've been looking for new ways to invest or how to do something with money this is a, this is a wonderful time at this new moon this is where we plant these seeds of intention for some new solutions new ideas new strategies you can put into action around finances for some of you you've been really wanting to study this metaphysical thing and get on board over here this is a great time for it if you want more intimacy in your relationship this is a phenomenal energy allow the new moon to bring some new energy over the next four weeks and new awareness so that you can get some new solution I'm telling you though if it does have anything to do with um, finances I do think one a partner may be involved because this is the eighth house or they're maybe they're involved just in a way where you have to make a decision 
about something with your finances, but it also involves them in some way, shape, or form. So it could be something like that, but I think you start making some new decisions and get new strategy around these finances. When we get to the 18th of the month, Sorry, there's Pacha. When we get to the 18th of the month, we've got Neptune turning retrograde, and it's going to be retrograde all the way until November. This is happening in your fifth house. Now, Neptune being an outer planet, sometimes his influence is very, very subtle. But what I think this gives us a wonderful opportunity to do is to, one, reconnect to some fun, reconnect to some play, bring some creativity to your table, right? If you've been afraid, Scorpio, to make some new decisions, you've been feeling a little held back, you've been frustrated in some area, bring some joy back to the table. When's the last time you just moved through the world with an absolute childlike faith that the universe has got your back if you do the baby footwork? Like, when's the last time you moved with that? When's the last time you really connected with your children or your inner child, right? When did that happen? This is a wonderful chance to bring forgiveness. Oh, I will tell you this too, Scorpios. If you are co-parenting or business partnering in any kind of way that you share a baby of some variety, this is a wonderful chance to practice forgiveness and compassion if that's something that those relationships have been needing. Really, the idea is move on, right? Forgive and let's move on. Now we get to the 21st of the month and we move into a new season. I'm so excited. We're going to move to the summer solstice. And this is so phenomenal because remember in Western astrology, we do not follow the constellations. We follow the seasons, right? So this is a fresh, brand new season for you. You can be inventive. You can be creative. What do you want to do here? It's happening in Cancer. So this is going through that ninth house space. So the question of what do you want to do? Who do you want to be when you grow up? What do you want to teach? Where do you want to expand out into the world? Any of those good kind of questions. This is the time to go explore. Go explore. Go expand. Ask those questions. Take that class. Broadcast that book. It's time to publish. Let's go. Let's get that going, right? Also, Venus and Mars on the same day, on the 21st, are going to be having their annual opposition to each other. Now, Venus is over here in your 10th house. Mars is over here in your 4th house. This is going to help you see your perception of work and home differently. And you need this perspective swap, Scorpio. You need this perspective swap because you've been feeling maybe trapped or feeling like there's nothing you can do about the things in your life and you have forgotten that you can make a creative third decision that you never even thought of, especially if you will allow yourself to take suggestions and to do things a little bit differently. So it is a much needed opposition. On the 26th, Mars takes that retrograde in the fourth house. It'll be retrograde all the way until August 27th. On the 28th, we've got the full moon happening here in Capricorn. This is going to end, create something you need to acknowledge or something you need to adjust in your third house. So something about communication and a big part of this month, I think for you, Scorpio, in the communication zone has to do with your thinking. What has your head been telling you? What have you been trapped up here about? You've been locked up in fear. The question I would ask you is, if you weren't afraid, what would you do? Right? And if you take the action, that'll immediately change the thought process and the mental activity going on up here. Now, other things that this is amazing for is maybe you've been working on a communication related project. Um, maybe you've been trying to get that website out there, something like that. But keep in mind that this is Capricorn energy. He wants to achieve. So whatever you're trying to end, acknowledge, or adjust, Capricorn's trying to make sure that you achieve something that takes you to the next level in this third house. This could also be conversations with siblings. You may go, you know what? But I've had time to think about it, pray about it, and you just can't be in my life. Or I've had time to think about it, pray about it, and here's the con kind of conversation we're going to be able to have. Here's a decision I'm making around something. So don't forget it could involve siblings and neighbors as well. On the 29th, we've got Mercury moving on, moving into Leo, joining Venus again. Mercury is going to be here for a good amount of time because we've got some retrograde energy. But again, this gives a lot of life, a lot of love to your 10th house. And one of the things I think of for you, Scorpios, this could be an acknowledgement, right? You've got Mercury and Venus here. This could be an acknowledgement. Maybe you get an award, you get a raise or something at work. You make a new decision around what you want to do in your career path. You feel more armed with facts and information than you did at the beginning of the month. But whatever it is, this energy around your career, your soul level calling, your reputation, your purpose, whatever it is that you're trying to give out to the world, this energy looks very good, very solid for you. And you look like you're coming equipped with a fair amount of solutions and new knowledge to the table as well.
So I think it's going to be a really phenomenal month for you. I think there are some shifts and changes that are going to go down, and I really look forward to hearing about them. So please keep me posted in the description box down below or in the comment section down below. And please keep Pacha in your prayers because he seems to only want to make noise when I'm recording. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in July. Bye.